Hello, I'm Jackie and this lecture is about the chord of D or should I say you're going to learn the chord of D. Now, first of all, look for your set of two black keys on your keyboard and in between the two black keys is the note D. So place your thumb on that note D. Like that. Okay, let's do that again. Look for your set of two black keys and place your thumb on D. Now, your number three finger will go on the first of the three black keys. And that is called F sharp. Okay, so first of all find your D. It's in between the set of two black keys and press your D. Then press your first of your three black keys, which is F sharp. And then your number five finger goes on to A. And that's two, two notes away from F sharp. So play that together. And that's your chord of D. Let's do it again. You've got your thumb in between the set of two black keys. That, sorry, you've got your note D in between the set of two black keys. So place your thumb on D. Then place your number three finger on F sharp. And then place your number five finger on the note A. Play that together. And that is your chord of D. That's quite, it. just a short lecture today. Now, you have an exercise in lecture six, and these are involving the chords that you've done so far, and in including the chord of D. You have an exercise to follow G, C and D, like this, G, C, and then your new chord of D. Practice that 10 times. And then you have another exercise, C, and your new chord, D, and then G. Practice that 10 times. And then you have D, C, and G. Practice through that 10 times before going on to the next sequence, which is C, 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 D, D, C, 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 G, G, D, D, C, 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 C. And again, C, 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 D, D, C, 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 G, G, D, D, C, 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 C. Again, C, 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 D, D, C, 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 G, G, D, D, C, 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 C. Now repeat that sequence five times. Now, let's go through the D chord again, just so you understand. Your two black keys, you come in the middle of your two black keys, and you press D. So your number, your number one finger, which is your thumb, goes on D. Your number three finger on F sharp, and your number five finger will go on to A. You press that together. And that's your chord of D. Make sure you understand that new chord before practicing the following sequences. In between times when you're practicing at home, practice your fun chords in C and don't forget to do your counting, which is C, 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 G, four, C, 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 G, practice your schedule number three for two days or so then I'd like you to practice schedule number four and if you practice these, these chords first and then you'll be doing fun chords in G in a different key so I'll play these for you first 
J J J C J J J J J J J C J J J J D D D D C C C C J C D D J J J J now you may may have heard that went a bit higher up the keyboard. That's just to give it a bit more interest for you. So practice that line of chords first and then practice your fun chords in G. Okay, so you recognise the sound of that? What I'm going to do is play it for you again, but I'll play it a bit lower. Okay, fun chords in G, let's play it together. Now remember your counting and remember to change from chord to chord smoothly. In this lecture we learned how to play the chord of D.